Welcome Tribe. I thought I'd do a different kind of studio video. It's not really, well I guess it is a studio video, but it's more of a, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to play around with some inks and I made some homemade stamps and I was very inspired by a video that I came across on YouTube and the gal's name is Denise Love and she is with Two Little Owl Studio and I started watching some of her videos on abstract art, intuitive painting and it looked like so much fun and it reminded me of stuff that I used to do uh, way back years ago. Um, so I thought I'd try it out and um, I decided to do a voiceover because when I'm painting and creating I'm quiet and this whole process was originally 45 minutes long <clears throat> so I've cut it down to about 15 minute video so it's sped up for you guys but hey welcome I hope you enjoy my first process video and leave me a comment below if it sounds like something more you want to see I have some other things that I'm working on I'm really into junk journaling <clears throat> and now I want to do a lot of abstract and intuitive painting as well it has been like about three or four months I have been just working really hard on my um, digital art and stationery making for the farmers market that um, I kind of I wasn't really burnt out I just wanted to do something different I felt like I had pushed my limit there and I'm gonna see where the art market or the farmers market takes me I'm like kind of happy I don't have to make too much more right now the sales are slow but that's okay because in the meantime I'm gonna be doing this kind of stuff so um, as you can see I earlier in the video I have some spray inks and then I have the Dr. Martin uh, I think they're more like they're painting but you can use them for calligraphy as well I was really having fun just watching the paint and the inks float on the paper and that's why I went my paper first and then just sprayed some inks and then added some other colors I did decide to work with a limited color palette uh, which a lot of people uh, encourage artists to do and it really helps take the guesswork out of stuff and I just really had fun just messing with the paints seeing how they um, drip and move with the paintbrush and yeah it was fun. Actually what I was doing is I didn't actually pour the paint onto anything. I just dabbed it onto my paintbrush and then applied the color that way. And as you can see I was doing there, I added some paint directly to the paintbrush. And it was just so fun watching just moving the color around on the paper. So anyway, as I was um, kind of looking for some stuff papers and junk stuff to 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 create with my junk journals I came across this poem that I wrote like years ago and I was thinking of making it into a zine but I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you because it was back in the day I probably wasn't at my happiest place but sometimes we write some <clears throat> interesting sorry excuse me guys sometimes we write some interesting stuff when we're not in our best headspace. So I don't know what the name of it's called but I'll go ahead and read to you um, my poem and I think I'm just gonna call it um, an empty canvas. So here it goes and don't laugh and you can fast forward this if you want but anyway okay here it goes. She is an empty and naked canvas waiting for an image to spring to life. She longs to be warmed with slight strokes of paint. Then she finds her John Lennon and Da Vinci. He fills her up with color and she explodes everywhere. He stands back to gaze upon her spirit, checking to see if there is any more that she c that can be added to the image splashed across the cloth. Once satisfied, she becomes a vision for all to see. All these things love can do to help realize the secrets of your heart and that knowledge of the heart holds all life. If you're afraid, Seek out the peace and pleasure that love holds, for it is better to feel naked and open, to laugh and weep, than to clothe yourself and never laugh or cry. 
the end. So, I don't know. I was uh, probably, I don't know, looking for my lost love and all that jazz when I wrote that. But I finally found him, and his name is Robert, and I'm married to him to this day. So, you know, it's amazing what love can do. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering. But as you can see here, I decided to... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> I decided to do, it's these uh, pastel crayons, Karen Diash. They're pretty fun because what I like about them is you can draw with them like a crayon, a pastel, and then you can add water. So when I was doing this uh, part, it kind of reminded me of little, uh, like a little map. Those were like landmarks and then the blue is the water. But, um, so I'm going to put a little bit of music on for a little bit and we will just kind of probably I don't know I'm gonna start talking all right guys
maybe you guys were wondering why I had this canvas split up into two because what Denise Love does is she'll um, take a sheet of paper and separate it into four. That way, if she has one out of four that she loves, then it's not kind of wasted paper. Or, you know, she can use the other three for scraps or whatnot. So uh, my paper, I didn't know if it was going to be big enough to do four little um section so I just did two that way if I could like uh, practice on one as you see on the right um, to see if I want to add more I don't know it's just more of a thing to you got two or four uh, canvases to mess around with and then hopefully by the end of it you find one that you love anyway that's Denise loves theory and I love it so I tried it also you can see me using um, my homemade stamps I would love to buy stamps, but I am one of those people that I have a hard time committing to something, especially art supplies, and they're expensive. So I thought if I could just take a dolly eraser and carve my own designs, then I'm not committing to something that I'm not going to use all the time. And if I don't want to use it anymore, then I'd only wasted a dollar. So I also was looking around for other kind of stampy kind of things I could use. And as you see me there, the round thing is uh, inside of a washi tape. Uh, I think, or is it tape? I, it's probably regular tape. And I think at one stage, and I don't think I show it on here, I use the top of a beer bottle cap. Um, but anyway, I was just trying to find stuff I could use for mark making. And it was pretty fun. Now, as I will be honest, as I was making this, I wasn't liking it at all. I was thinking it was like, there's too much going on, and the colors aren't simple enough. I don't know, I just didn't like it. So when I walked away from it to let it dry, when I came back to it, I loved it. So let me know what you all think if you want. I'd appreciate that. So as you can see here, I'm making other marks with my paintbrush and I'm using acrylic on top of it because the, I actually found some gold colored acrylic paint because, you know, you gotta have gold in your painting or silver, some sort of metallic. So as you can see here, I'm starting to peel the pa the paint or blah, 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 peel the tape, which is the best part because that's when you can really see um, your picture, your painting is when you take that paint off. So I should have used a hair dryer to loosen up, but oh well, I was in a hurry you know, as us artists are. Sometimes we're not patient at all. But you'll see me here struggling to pull the, the tape off of the, the painting. So, all in all, I'm gonna do this again. I started another one using my watercolors. And so that piece is completely dry. And so then I'm gonna go back and do some mark making and, you know, experiment some more. And like I said, I've got a couple of other projects on the board. I'm always doing something. So I'm just really having fun just playing around with different art supplies. So I encourage you guys, like this kind of technique is fun. You, you know, you, some of you guys may say you don't have any talent. Well, it, really talent sometimes is really just practice and that desire to create. So I encourage you all to break out what you got and uh, see what you can do and see up close it looks way better than kind of that view anyway thanks guys see you in the next video and thanks for stopping by you guys all have a great day know that I love you and care about you see you later